Comus Grove students. This year for American government, I selected Haley Coleman and Madison Wiseman, and for world history, my student of the year, Cody Taylor. All three of these students became prepared for class, participate, and I feel like they set the bar high for other students to achieve. Congratulations, students. <laughs> <laughs> the Excellence in Chemistry Award is given to a student who has maintained a 95% average for all three nine weeks and a partial fourth nine weeks average. Those recipients are Kyle Schrader, Madison Nicholas, Jacob Oglesby and Madison Wiseman. The 2017-2018 Chemistry Award goes to the student who has the highest average for the year, and the recipient for that award this year is Caleb Winehouse. We had a great year of band this year, and I want to give two awards out. One is to an outstanding band librarian. Uh, that goes to Haley Kubiner. She did a great job organizing my life. And the other is to a 10th grader, Peyton Gonzalez, for being the most improved. I'm going to be giving out awards in pre-calculus and AP statistics. I had many fine students in both of these classes, but there were a couple of students that uh, went above and beyond in that they achieved over 100% uh, each of the grading periods. Uh, so in pre-calculus, I'm going to be giving the award to Caleb Langhouse and also to Jacob Oglesby. Uh, and in AP Statistics, uh, these two uh, students are also going to be getting the award in AP Statistics. So uh, Caleb and Jacob will be receiving an award in AP statistics as well. So congratulations to them. Good work. Okay. I first just want to say that this has been a really amazing school year and I want to thank all of my students this year for making it such a wonderful experience. I'd like to recognize two of our freshmen uh, for their work not only on tests and quizzes but also their writing. They have maintained an average of over 97% uh, for the entire year and those two young ladies are Emily Shoemaker and Lauren Wishmeyer. Now I have three uh, juniors in advanced junior English I would like to recognize because they have um, achieved at least a 95% or higher and um, they've just done a fabulous job as well. I'd like to name them individually and just um, mention a couple things about each of them. The first is uh, Madison Wiseman and Madison Wiseman, uh, we want to thank you both Mr. Parent and myself for always making sure that the conversation during seventh period continued. And we thank you for your discussion during that class and also your hard work. Uh, you did a great job. In addition, Caleb Langhouse, super student, uh, did a super job as well in seventh period uh, with his grades. And um, I just want to know, or just want to say that he'll do a great job next year, I'm sure, um, not only academically, but in wrestling. I'm looking forward to seeing you next year. And finally, I just want to say I am thrilled that I'll be working with Amelia Page in um, AP, and uh, you've done a great job this year. You have such a sweet spirit, and um, you, you work very hard, and I know that, that you will do well in AP next year. Thanks. Hello, I'm Mrs. Hallenstein. I'm here today to uh, announce awards for physical science. I have two students that were outstanding this year. They had a 98 average for the entire year. Uh, the first one is Katie Schrader. Uh, again, she had a 98%. She's always had a positive attitude, always checks with me. Like today, she asked about her work that she might be missing on Friday for a field trip. Uh, always has a positive attitude, a uh, great smile on her face every day. And the other one that is an outstanding student for me this year with 98%, again, also is Blake Reynolds. Uh, he's been a pleasure to have in class, always checks with me if he has any issues or questions about homework before he turns it in. Um, I'm doing the awards now for environmental science. I had two students that did an outstanding job for me this year. Both of them had a 98% or higher for the entire year average. Uh, the first one is Peyton Brubaker. Uh, she is a very uh, upbeat girl, always bubbly, takes assignments uh, in stride, and is a good leader in her group activities that we do in this class. So good job, Peyton. And the other one with a 98% also or higher is Brady Hallenstein. 
Uh, he is a pleasant student to have in class. He takes the lead with his groups, motivates his groups to get things done, and always very conscientious about getting all of his work done and doing a great job on his test scores also. So good job, students. Awards are not all about grades. I'm so tired of hearing about grades. Although the student that I'm giving an award to has had very good grades, what I like most about her and the reason she's getting this award is because this student has shown growth in asking questions and finding her voice. So Emily Ridinger, this AP History Award is for you. Yes. Congratulations to this year's award winners for academic excellence in biology. Uh, this year, Mrs. Baumgartner and I selected eight students, all of which maintained 97% averages for the year. Uh, this year's awards go to Jared Basinger, Anna Choi, Becca Choi, Abby Gladwell, Emmy Griffith, Cassie Heilman, Paige Langhouse, and Rob Langhouse. Congratulations, guys. Thanks for the hard work. I would like to recognize two students for their academic excellence in English 10. Not only do they work hard and actively participate in class discussions, but they are also truly kind individuals. These students are Jared Basinger and Paige Langhouse. Congratulations. Hey, well, I want to honor my junior English class this year. I tell you what, they have been an outstanding group. They've been enthusiastic, sometimes real enthusiastic, where I had to quiet them down a little bit. But they have been energized and enthusiastic about English all year long, and I've really enjoyed this class. It's been a big class, 23 students in English 11. So it's been a lot of fun. They've learned a lot. We've read a lot of books, learned a lot of literary terms, done some writing. But I tell you what, one student that stands out in that class this year has been Abigail Lang. She is going to earn my top English 11 award this year. She just exemplifies what an English student should be. She's a good writer. Everything is coherent and unified. She's a reader. She loves to read. She writes great book responses. She just does all of that and has earned an A average every nine weeks in English 11. So congratulations, Abigail, and to the rest of the English 11 class. It's been a great year. I look forward to seeing you guys next year. All right, I am here to uh, announce the winners uh, for my academic awards in algebra this year. In algebra one, I have uh, three students that I think exhibited um, the characteristics that we look for uh, in students at Columbus Grove High School, and that is um, obviously academic achievement is part of it. Um, also, uh, how hard they work or, or how hard we feel they work each and every day. And then uh, the third one I look for, which I think is really important, is their participation. So I look at uh, students that um, not only ask good questions that contributed to the class, uh, but also uh, were willing to, to um, answer my questions as well. So in Algebra 1, I have three students um, that I'm going to um, award. And the first one is uh, for exemplary work in Algebra 1, and that'll be Elisa Price. So congratulations, Elisa. And then I have two students that I would like to name as my top Algebra 1 um, students this year, and they're Ezra Jones and Adelaide Hawker. So congratulations to those students. Um, in Algebra 2, uh, same thing. I have a lot of students that um, really had excellent work. Um, you know, we're getting A's and A pluses throughout the year, uh, but I felt there were two students um, that really uh, participated in class, uh, were asked questions, and were really assets, um, I felt, in their respective classes. And so those are the two students that I'm going to um, award the top Algebra 2 student, and those are Reese Pingle and Haley Coleman. So congrats to you two. Uh, it didn't, didn't work, so we have hard. Oh, oh. oh, there we go. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Shortchen. J'enseigne le français à Columbus Grove. Hi, I'm Mrs. Shortchen, and I teach French here at Columbus Grove. And it's my pleasure to be able to recognize my top students this year in French one, two, and three. French one, first period. Congratulations to the following students, Derek Berkemeyer, Dylan Berkemeyer, Tate Bernesser, Joey Edelbrock, Adelaide Hawker, Ezra Jones, Ivy Parker, Blake Reynolds, and Elena Ricker. French one, seventh period. Other top A-plus students. Congratulations, 
Nathan Dunbar, Ethan Hawker, Brandon Mormon, Addison Schaefer, and Kara Schmidt. French 2, Felicitacion to the top scores, Rachel Boggs, Peyton Brubaker, Emmy Griffith, and Dylan Mason. French 2 third period top scores with A plus averages are Becca Choi, Cassie Heilman, Cassidy Brinkman, and Leandra Price. Again, congratulations. Felicitacion, Le Fia. French 3, fourth period, A plus averages, Elizabeth Mormon, Amelia Page, and Madison Wiseman. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next level of French next school year. I also had the opportunity to advise the quiz team. And I would like to take this opportunity to invite each and every one of you to join next year. Um, it is really a lot of fun and sometimes you say, oh, I'm not that smart, but we never know what we know, um, what we have inside of us. And so don't be afraid of it. I love to see what trivia you know. So everyone is invited. This year, our top varsity scores were Cassie Heilman, who got first team um, in the Putnam County League and Will Nussbaum, who got second team in the Putnam County League, and Jordan Basinger, who is another top scorer for quiz team. So um, I hope to see all three of you back next year in um, quiz team. We also had a J, we have a JV team. Um, Ms. Spitnail was um, the JV advisor this year, and top scorers for the JV team, congratulations to you, are Joey Edelbrock, Betsy Love and Braden Keck. So I would just really sincerely like to say congratulations to all you hardworking students. Keep up the good work and we'll see you next year. Hi, I had a great first year here at Columbus Grove with a lot of great students. I would like to recognize two of them that I think stood out above the rest. In my world studies class of freshmen, Ezra Jones, who's above and beyond the schoolwork as well as participation. And in my sophomore American history class, Jacob Bish. Always willing to participate in excellent work. So I'd like to thank the whole student body and all the staff here at Columbus Grove for a, a great first year. Right. Hi there. We are here to do our academic underclassmen awards. And the first up is our appreciation for our master technician, which is Jacob Oglesby. He's been there for concerts and musicals, and we just really appreciate him for handling everything that needs to be handled during those times. We also want to recognize um, our accompanist this year. Um, Zoe Stechley has done an excellent job at this year's choral performances, and we want to thank her for using her extraordinary talents to aid our Columbus Grove choirs this year. Absolutely, and next we have a noteworthy choreographer. This is Anna Choi. She's helped us a lot. She helped me personally with CG Sounds, doing choreography for that. She was tremendous help during the musical this year, and also for, uh, she helped me with junior high at our spring concert. So thank you very much, Miss Anna. We also like to give out a couple words every year for most improved students. Um, so we kind of think about students and their accomplishments throughout the past year as individuals. And so we have two students this year who we believe have grown in not only their singing, their sight singing, musicianship, and leadership. Um, and that is Felix and Garrett Niemeyer. Uh, we also like to recognize outstanding underclassmen for each grade level. And so um, recognizing in our freshman class for her wonderful work she has done this year is Trinity Copenhaver. And for our sophomore, we have Emily Reitinger, an outstanding sophomore choral member. And for the junior class, we have chosen uh, Jenna Hardiman, who has just done a great job this year in and out of the classroom. Uh, we also want to recognize we sent um, some mem underclassmen to District 3 Honors Course this year. Um, to audition to be in District Honors Course, you have to sing a prepared piece, uh, kind of classical music, uh, and you also have to sight read something. Uh, this year we were able to send two underclassmen um, to the group, so we would like to recognize and congratulate Jordan Bellman and Thomas Otto. And that's a wrap. I'd like to say congratulations to a number of students this year. First, I'd like to recognize Zoe Stechelde for being my top geometry student. 
I would like to also recognize Grayson Flores for being the top student in applied geometry. And I would also like to recognize Tanner Blankemeyer for being the top Math 1 student. Congratulations. I'd like to say congratulations to all the students that have earned all A honor roll. It's taken many hours at night and during the school day. Um, lots of work and hard hard work and dedication. So congratulations to the all A honor roll. The following students have earned all A honor roll. Ready? Congratulations to the freshman all A honor roll. Starting with Derek Berkemeyer, Dylan Berkemeyer, Sarah Dittmarine, Aaron Downing, Elena Ricker, Katie Schrader, Emily Schumacher, Zoe Stecksholdy, Lauren Wishmeyer. Congratulations again, guys. Congratulations to the following students for earning all A honor roll, sophomores and juniors. Emily Reidinger, Paige Langhouse, Cassie Heilman, Rebecca Choi, Anna Choi, Jared Basinger, Madison Weissman, Autumn Thompson, Jacob Oglesby, Caleb Linghouse. Being new to the district, um, when I talked to some teachers and administration, they had said that maybe we could do something a little bit different for the honor to honor the students for academic awards. Um, so we decided to talk to Mr. Schaefer, and he very nicely and kindly offered to help with this endeavor. So I wanted to thank Mr. Schaefer and the interactive media for helping out with this video. I know they've spent a lot of time, um, so I really appreciate their efforts. Thank you.